Hey, I'm Kim here with FSS Food Service Sustainability Solutions, introducing you to your Air Genie Sanitizer, which is designed to rid airborne viruses from the air every 10 minutes in a thousand square feet or less. It uses UVC technology and ventilation. First thing you want to do when you receive your units, the bulbs will ship separately for safety. You'll remove the panel on the end. So this panel would have been here. Use a Phillips head screwdriver or you can use a, a drill gun is fine. Just go slow if, when you're putting it back in. Be careful with, if you're using a drill gun that you are experienced and you don't try to strip things out. The trusty Phillips head is fine. So once we have this off, this is where the bulbs will be going in. Then we can come over here. I've already removed some of them so that we don't waste time in the video, but we're taking this one off. I always leave the top center one on until when all the others are off. Then I kind of hook it in there. That helps me pull this out. Gently lift that. Set that off to the side. Now we've already preloaded three here so that we can show you the, the full works and plug it in once we're done. So this is the fourth bulb, but how they go in is identical. Carefully remove it from the packaging. It's best to use gloves. You don't have to, but we recommend gloves. Then we're going in and come on over here so we get the angle. So we're going in through this grommet here and we're just sliding gently until we get to a point where it'll bump. Now, we either have a second person on this side or you can do it one person the way I'm doing it. You have the back panel off, so you're just feeding it through the second grommet. There's a third one down in there that is difficult to see, but we're gonna go. You can twist it a little bit if it catches until you get there. Now we're all the way in. Now to plug these in, Three, these three are already plugged in. This is the fourth that I just put in. So I'm actually gonna pull it back out a little bit. You see the ends there. The top two are a little bit narrower than the bottom two. If you turn it till you're seeing them lined up, and if you don't have it lined up, it doesn't work. So turn another half a turn. And then just like I did, now I'm gonna go back and get it through that last grommet. Boom, it kind of taps in when you go. Now we close it. Now before we close it, something important to note, I'm still unplugged. This is a safety tab here. Unless the unit is on and pressing in that safety tab, the lights will not work. That's by design because as we say in the warning labels, you do not want to be looking directly at UVC light. That can damage your eyes. So the unit is built with safety in mind. It's got a safety to protect you, but if anybody's curious and says, oh, I want to see the lights, don't. You don't want to see the lights. They're there, they're going to do their job, and you just have to trust that they're doing their job. Now, you may have a question, how do I know that the lights are actually, how, how do I know the lamps are working you know, when I first receive them? We're going to go over that. There's also a separate tab just like that on this unit on this side, but right now I'm just going to close this up and then we're going to turn it on and I'll show you how the lights, actually the indicators on the front work so that you can see how you know that the lights are operational and it's also how you would know when it's time to replace them. Now these lights are rated for 10,000 hours of use. So in a typical, if you're a K through 12 school, 180 days a year, eight hours a day, they would last somewhere in the order of 6.9 years. And of course, you may find you don't need to use them every day of the calendar year, so they could last up to 10 years. I'm not gonna put every screw in right now, just wanna be able to show you what the lights look like now that we've got our bulbs in. Turn our unit around, has casters, you can lock them once you're in the position you wanna be in. I'm plugging it back in. And now I just flip the on switch. When I flip the on switch, the blue lights come on. Now, if one of these lamps went out five years from now, then the light would be dark the way it was before I flipped that switch. So they would look like this. The one would be dark. The other three would be lit up. That's how you know you've got the lights in correctly attached. And now you're good to go. You're operational. The airflow comes in through the bottom, passes the lights, We've calibrated it so you've got the right distance, you've got the right airflow, so that in a 1,050 square foot space, you're getting six full air exchanges per hour, or every 10 minutes you're getting an air exchange. 
If you have larger rooms, we've got some for universities where they have a music hall. In those cases, we calculate the height of the ceiling, figure out the cubic space. We're doing 985 cubic feet per minute, comes out to over 59,000 per hour. That's how you figure out how many units you would need in a larger space. For K through 12s, one of these is usually sufficient. Many K through 12 schools, especially elementary, are less than 750 square feet. That is it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, you've got our information, feel free to call or email us. But now you're set up and you know how to get your bulbs in place and start getting the benefits of eliminating SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Thank you.